I'm here with uh, Ben Haining, who is a strength and conditioning coach at Reed School, um, attending the strength and conditioning conference here at the National Tennis Centre in Roehampton. Uh, ben, how, how's today been for you? It's been very good. Um, on a couple of different levels. Uh, it's very good now we're starting to get a network of coaches come together for these workshops at the NTC which is always nice to meet you and know, work with and spend time with your colleagues uh, who are working in other parts of the country um, and obviously you see them at tournaments so it's great to uh, sort of share experiences and ideas and meet up with them so that's fantastic. Uh, Steve Green's done a very innovative, um, simple but innovative ideas about um, how to work with a developing player um, across all ages and a lot of the work is applicable for eight-year-olds right up to tour players. Um, it's been very interactive so I'm hot and sweating um, but a really uh, sort of thought-provoking discussion. Um, we've got one more lecture to go by one of the uh, LTA staff, Jill Airy, so we're looking forward to that and um, we'll possibly a little coffee before we, uh, we go into that now. So you managed to take a few things away and just got to share be best practice with your colleagues? Absolutely, yeah. Forward to particularly in my environment, I look to do a lot of um, inset with the uh, members of the PE department and the head coaches at the school with other sports as well, because a lot of this is applicable to tennis very specifically, but also to all, all of the athletes. So we'll we'll steal everything and uh, and uh, hopefully I won't get out of bed in instalments tomorrow when I uh, when I'm recovering from doing the stuff today. And can you just tell us a little bit? Um, for, obviously, strength and conditioning is known in, in a number of sports, but what, specifically for tennis, what kind of um, what are the benefits really of, of, of strength and conditioning? Well I think the key thing is that when you look at uh, the top tour players now um, and I've been fortunate enough to work with you know, Elena Bautash who's on the tour um, at men's and women's level they are superb athletes um, athletes are getting bigger, stronger and quicker um, and so if it's, no, it's not good enough now just to work technically it has to be a, a holistic programme with a lot of athletic development uh, and as Steve was focusing on uh, during the uh, workshop today, building fundamental movement patterns, um, comfortable in different environments, um, because when they play at the top level, players have to go to the absolute limits of their physiology. You only have to look at players like Rafa and how he moves around the court, and Andy in recent years, how physically fantastic he's become, to recognise that the standard is really, really high. And without strength and conditioning, I don't think you can build that around superb athlete. Uh, one of the guys on the course was talking about how one of his players actually got to hit with Rafa um, in a practice capacity and he was saying how you know Rafa was doing a whole load of dribbling drills, football drills with a tennis ball so you realise that these guys are all-round athletes um, and you, they need to be able to play 12 months of the year um, and without the strength and conditioning to underpin that from an early age and then you know consistently like with Matt and uh, Jess Green on the tour um, you know, we're using Andy as an example. You know that they won't be internationally relevant if they don't get that working from an early age and uh, regularly at the top level. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad you're having a good day here. It's good. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of it. Thank you very much. Thanks.